Okay, with the release of the Evo 85 being tomorrow, I want to make a real quick video on why a narrow catapult will shoot higher than a, than a wider one. And the answer is dead simple. There's, there's no sort of science to it, there's no math to it, there's no, it's not to do with bands, it's not to do with speed. It's basically to do with you've reduced your front sight, you've lowered your front sight, there always, that's all there is to it. Um, by taking five millimeters from the front sight, if you're using obviously the top corner of your catapult shooting side on as a reference, you're using that as your reference. If you lower that by five millimeters, which is what we've done by reducing the whole frame by 10 mil, obviously we've reduced it five mil each side, you've lowered your front sight by five millimeters. So now, whereas before you're putting your front sight on your target, you go to put this front sight on your target, this front sight on your target, should I say, and this front sight is five millimeters lower. So you have to raise your hand up a tiny little bit more to touch the target. By doing that, you're changing the trajectory of the ball. Obviously this anchor point is still the same. So by there you would have been before, you have to raise it up now five mil more to touch the target. So you've basically gone from there to there. You've changed the trajectory of the ball. There's nothing more to it. The trajectory of the ball is now facing slightly more upwards, which is why a narrower frame will shoot higher than a wider one. So hopefully that answers uh, that question and uh, wraps that up.